I'm sure most of you have wondered, Clayton, how did you get so likable and natural on camera? The truth is, I'm a child star. Alright, in all seriousness, when I was five years old, I actually was on Animal Planet, which is pretty crazy. Our neighbor was moving, and he had some stones in his backyard that he said my parents could use for their garden, and so I was helping my dad load up some stones, and then I stumbled across a weird looking rock, and it turns out that rock was a turtle. So I actually have a copy of the airing. It aired November 14th, year 2000. Hopefully it's not too cringy. So we're gonna watch five-year-old Clayton with his turtle. And the story of the turtle is actually pretty cool. Let's get into it. This was a show called Emergency Vets on Animal Planet. Here it goes. He comes running back in the house. I found a turtle. I found a turtle. Five-year-olds seem to have built-in radar for hidden treasure. Sure enough, it was a turtle. But Pete is more than a turtle. He's Clayton Bridges' proof of the power of positive thinking. Ah. He, he, had, he had asked for one before, positive and thinking. we thought maybe we would wait till he was seven or eight, and he agreed. But I think he wished hard enough. <laughs> it's so funny, because I think my parents... Obviously, I was five, and they told me I had to wait till I was eight. And the theory there, of course, is that the kid is going to forget. And here I come back and just find one. Big brain positive thinking. That's what that is. One. <laughs> but Mama Cindy Jarris noticed a chink in Pete's armor that threatens the coveted catch. Got a hole in the shell. Got a hole and scrapes. We thought maybe a dog got it because it looks like there are marks. Hi there. How are you? Fine. How are I'm Kevin you? Fitzgerald. Well, who's this? This is a turtle that we found next door. Did you find it? Mm. You did? Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. It was a good Respetic. find. You aren't afraid of turtles, huh? Mm -hmm. You have a list of questions here? Yes. I, I have lots of questions. I don't know what type of turtle he is. Well, the first thing is this is a box turtle, okay? This is a female, so Pete just became Pearl. <laughs> Petunia. <laughs> Well, that's a through and through hole. That's a pellet gun or a BB gun. There's no pellet of proof, but Dr. Kevin Fitzgerald suspects a deliberate act of malice. Somebody shot her. It's not a dog, because we thought maybe a dog got no, her. No, it's too perfect a hole. Somebody shot our friend. That's not very nice, is it? You got my girl, man. So we'll patch up that shell and make sure there's no, no damage, OK? There's no need to stay in the hospital before tomorrow's repair. Ready? Any five-year-old knows the proper place for a broken turtle is beside the boy who loves her. <laughs> All right, if you're the one who shot my boy Pete, I mean my girl Petunia, you're done. You're scum. You're the scum of the earth. All right, what you got for us, Dr. Fitzgerald? What can you do for my lady Petunia? <laughs> Pete, <laughs> this is our friend that's going to get fiberglass yeah, today. Pete. After a box turtle survived target practice, the pellet went in there and came out right there. A young boy's prized possession gets pellet proof. I think that little kid is crazy about him, so we're going to just go with some fluids now. Oh, no. I know, what a crazy world. He's not afraid. You can touch his head, he doesn't retract. He, That's right. He, it's his world and we're just living in it. Pete's a boss. Fiberglass repair has been around for a while. I, I think he's been I've shot. Been doing it for 30 years. He ain't afraid of nothing. This stuff gets hard real quick. This will bond, it will stay on there about a year, and the shell underneath will heal and push off the old fiberglass. It stayed on for a long I've time. I worked on cars as a kid with a friend of mine. We started putting the spackling on the, to the turtles that were hurt when I was in grad school. A little That's weird. what I'm calling a patch. Okay. Fiberglass fumes provide a strong hit. There's no way not to inhale. Oh. <laughs> you are really grumpy, wouldn't you now? He's, he's getting a, a nose rough, that, but so are we. So we're losing some brain cells, but Pete will still be able to do higher math, you know? Can't get it too long. He did. Oh, he was really good, good at math. Feels good to oh, he doesn't like it. I remember watching this video and I was very upset because of how uncomfortable my turtle looked. 
A shot of antibiotics no! releases racehorse results. Oh. <laughs> what? A lot of people, a little turtle. If emptying <laughs> one's bladder can be interpreted as a compliment, yeah, you, you Dr. get Vince him. Can stand tall. You get the mean man. He is gushing with praying. He, he helped my turtle a lot. Little kid. Little kid. Yeah, dude. Literally, the rest of this show is like surgeries and really gross stuff. Here is my moment to shine. Why don't we let her run around for a little while? The only thing cuter than a happy kid it's just straight this way is a happy kid on an adventure. This was important. I, I Listen, kicked the thing. Open. The claw. I found him well right here. I thought it was a rock out first. But it was really a turtle. I always wanted a turtle, and now I have one. Let's take off the lid. <laughs> She'll take it out of your fingers. God, it's so she cheesy. doesn't like her vegetables. I bought two bags of the frozen vegetables. <laughs> we don't like frozen vegetables. She's not eating them. <laughs> so this whole family doesn't like them. Well, we'll give them to Grandma or somebody. Grandma really likes them. Well, it's still. Yeah, she's got it. <laughs> I think he has a greater understanding for learning how to handle them, how to be compassionate and understanding. Ooh, careful there, Pete. Right. Long ways. There you go. I just like turtles. I just like turtles. The acting, the dialogue, the fashion. Clearly, this was an absolute uh, masterpiece of a film starring me. <laughs> All right, obviously, this is just kind of poking fun at, at young me. It's funny to see my mom. It's, it's young. It's really kind of a funny story. Uh, I think it was honestly a little bit of a slap in the face to my parents because they were trying to get me off the turtle thing and somehow I found one and it was just, uh, it was kind of funny. It turned out to be pretty fun. Uh, I actually had a couple box turtles after that. Really sad to see what someone had done to this turtle. Obviously, it's a terrible thing to do. It seems like there was some kind of drama for every turtle after that. One turtle actually got chewed by my dog. That was really sad and, and gross. It didn't it didn't get hurt too bad. It actually got a similar fiberglass repair. There's another really traumatic incident where we found a baby bird and put it inside the cage with the turtle. And I swear to God, the the turtle ate the baby bird whole. It was uh it was really stressful. We just you know took the turtle in like any other pet visit we went in we actually had a meeting talked to the vet he explained some things and then we left and as we were leaving a camera crew or somebody came out and said hey wait a minute would you want to be on this show and talk about your turtle you know we said yes why not and uh, we went back and and redid it and so we had no idea that this guy was a part of all that. Uh, he's actually a really cool guy. I think he's actually a comedian as well as he does this show. He's obviously a veterinarian. He was at like a local furry scurry, which is a big dog walk in the park. Yeah, that's the story of how I found my, my first turtle. It was pretty unique to be on a show like that. I think I was a little nervous. I was kind of a shyer kid, but I don't think being on camera or anything affected me too much. Um, I'm pretty comfortable on camera. <laughs> you know, really, really sad to see that someone would treat uh, such a cute animal like that, too. And, you know, I I've been an animal lover all of my life. I mean, that's, that's just kind of how I was raised. And, you know, I have a lot of respect for animals. And, I mean, there was nothing more than I wanted than a turtle at that time. I was in I was really into dinosaurs and animals and I spent a lot of time like learning about them all and I, all I wanted in the world was a pet turtle. It was about the greatest thing that could possibly happen and I was just absolutely thrilled. Uh I don't think my parents were.
<laughs> you know, additionally, when I was young, Animal Planet was one of my favorite channels to watch. I absolutely love animals. Getting onto the channel was pretty crazy, and I don't think I realized it when I was that age, of course. It was sort of like a, a dream come true, <laughs> except uh, it didn't register. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. This was a fun thing to look back on. In the description below, you will find a link or two to some animal charities. Go ahead and give a donation. You saw what poor Pete has gone through. Frankly, it's terrible, and there's a lot more of that kind of thing that goes on, so anything we can do to prevent that is amazing. Thank you. Leave a like. Subscribe if you enjoyed. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think, and have a good day, humans.